Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to another Polycore Media video. Today is now the reset for Destiny 2. It is week 6 and season of the Lost. So head on over to the helm where you see me currently, but we're gonna cut to heading on over to the Wayfinder's Compass, pick up the or listen to Marsab, and then we're gonna head over and do the astral alignment mission and then, you know, pick up parallax trajectory, so on and so far. So let's head on to it. My coven of Techians is almost assembled. Well done. Soon all they will be left to do is wait for the ley lines to fall into position. Then we may exercise Sabathun's worm and reclaim Osiris. She divulges more to you than I, Guardian. Though it can be difficult to separate poisonous words from the honeyed ones. I worry that the crow is especially susceptible. I feel the desire for approval in him as I felt it in Aldrin, and he idolized Osiris almost as much as he idolizes you. Do not forget what has been asked of you. Until the ritual is ready, continue charting the ley line passages. We are so close to bringing the last of my lost Techians home. All right, once Mara finishes talking, go ahead and if you have a mod available, go ahead and purchase that. Now, First thing you have to do for this week, as always, is going to be doing the Astral Alignment Objective. Once you have picked up the, or uh, gone and done the Astral Alignment Objective, you just need to head on over to, what's it called? The Moon for the Parallax Trajectory. You'll find it around... Um, Sorrow's Harbor along the edges this week in the patrol and you also can find it down near the sanctuary once you have done that and you've gone into your next quest step go on and head over to do the Shattered Realm once you have um, started the Shattered Realm you'll be on the third part and once you beat the boss at the end you'll get some more dialogue It's nice to know I can be trusted to fight the Awoken's battles, but not make decisions for myself. Why are you so eager to hurt yourself? I... I'm not. I mean, I just want to talk to Sabathun. I have questions. I deserve answers. She is nothing but lies. She will only hurt you, and she will not feel regret about it. I don't like being told who will and won't hurt me by people I hardly know. Once you have finished listening to the dialogue, just hand on back to the helm. You'll need to go to the Wayfinder's Compass first. Go ahead and purchase your last mod um, for the Wayfinder's Voyage quest. Once you have purchased your mod, you will be instructed to go to the Crow, who is at Sabathun. You were kind to me. I thought you were my friend. Am I not? to me I helped you break Zebu Aras hold on the shore brought you to the last city offered you guidance stop if that's what you want I want the truth I lied to you because I wanted to be because the truth hurts you know this better than anyone Shrinking away from the rumors of the man you used to be. I'm not him. How can you say that 
when you don't even know who he is. If the truth is what you really want, then lay your hand on me. Crow, don't. Please. See? Even your ghost thinks you're better off in the dark. Everything. No, wait! You hurt him. Someone had to. Better for it to have come from a friend. Don't give me that look. I told you that you can't stop the inevitable. Deep down, Crow wanted to know. He was going to find out one way or another, guardian taboos or no. You should thank me. Just imagine if it had come from someone with bad intentions. Someone who could have colored the truth about how he died to turn him against you. Against the Traveler. But I would never do such a thing. I see too much of myself in him. We were both looking for our purpose. Now that the Crow has found his as a guardian, he can see it for what it truly is. A second chance. Something to reflect on. If people didn't want him to know, was it to protect Crow from himself? Or was it to protect themselves from Crow? I do so enjoy our talks. Oh, ho, ho, wow, okay. So, yeah, next quest step is going to go see Crow in the Helm. And I will say, wow, Sabbath Thune is just breaking all kinds of rules here. What? I don't know what's going to happen uh, near the end of the season or with the story, but it's going to be crazy. So you'll find Crow behind the staircase over here in the helm. Just go speak to him and see what he's got to say after the revelations. Aldrin Sav, awoken prince, brother to the queen, murderer. Now I know the man I was. And you. You. I'm sorry. You did what you had to do. I don't think I would have told me either. Sabathun's visions were like a waking dream. I could feel the heat of the flames. Taste the blood in my mouth. I saw everything he did through his eyes. You were afraid of who I used to be. That he'll come back somehow. I am too. So I've asked Ikor to put me on another assignment. One where I can be somewhere I know my choices are my own. Tell Mara. Tell her whatever you want. I'll see you again when I'm ready. And that, folks, is the end of the quest. I gotta say, everyone, today's story was absolutely amazing. And, wow, it is just really ramping forward. We don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, that was a big thing that everyone was hoping to see what was gonna go with Crow learning the truth about himself. And who knows what will happen next week. And honestly... A lot of what happens this season is going to relate to what happens in Witch Green and how Sabathun will get hold of the light. Could it be the coercion, co coercion of Crow? Or another Guardian? Manipulation of Guardians all over? 
How does she steal the light? Maybe her presence in Mara's chambers and the link of the portal right next to the city? Who can tell? Maybe she'll even manipulate Mara Sov, trick her with lies and to take away the light or get, get possess it somehow. I don't know what, but I will see you next week for the story. Everyone have a great day and goodbye.